If Alfred Hitchcock and Jimmy Stewart were still with us, they'd be in a state of shock. This is the upcoming Polestar 4 pure electric SUV coupe, and there's no rear window. But that's just the start of the lateral thinking and innovative engineering that's gone into the development of this car. It's not only the fastest production Polestar so far, within the next couple of years, it'll be the first to feature mobilised chauffeur system, prepping the car for fully autonomous driving. We'll believe that when we see it, but what we can confirm with our own eyes at this preview showing is pretty impressive. Let's take a walk through it. With production starting mid-year, indicative local pricing has been set at around $81,000 for the single motor rear-wheel drive version and just over 93 k for the powerhouse all-wheel drive dual motor. This five-seater sits on parent company Geely's sustainable experience architecture and we're told it's different from the ground up relative to its numerical predecessor, the Polestar 3 SUV. Reflecting the Swedish brand's performance heritage, the Polestar 4 dual motor is claimed to accelerate from 0 to 100 kmh in just 3.8 seconds, outgunning even the Polestar 1 GT Mega Coupe. Packing a 400 volt, 100 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery, the Polestar 4 has a claimed range of up to 610 kilometres for the single motor and 580 kilometres for the dual motor, with up to 200 kilowatt DC and 22 kilowatt AC charging capacity on board. But that's all under this sleek, aerodynamically efficient body that boasts a drag coefficient of just 0.26. Although Polestar says despite the frameless doors with retractable handles, low nose and sleek roofline, it allowed quote unquote occasional deviation to ensure the car had an interesting and arresting design. At close to 4.9 metres end to end, it's a substantial machine, but it stands just over 1.5 metres tall which is where the tricky no rear window packaging comes into play. The rear header rail, usually above the second row passenger's heads, has been moved back, which would normally compromise the rear window and push overall height up. But the decision to do away with the rear glass, combined with a three metre wheelbase, means there's generous interior space, including good rear headroom, despite the low level turret. Polestar says it was shooting for a cocoon-like business class interior environment, with the design inspired by sports fashion. And it feels pretty good in here, especially with this enormous multimedia screen in the center and another nifty display in front of the driver, not to mention a properly full length glass roof overhead. Interestingly, in line with a focus on use of ethically sourced environmentally friendly materials in the car's construction, leather is an available seat trim option. Polestar arguing genuine hide is a food industry waste product and using it on a fully traceable basis for auto upholstery is better than sending it to landfill. That said, Microtech synthetic leather manufactured using pine oil rather than crude oil is also on offer. And put your hand up if you knew there was a textile university in Sweden. No, me neither. But the 3D knitted textile called Tailored Knit, made from 100% recycled PET bottles and used in the Polestar 4, was developed with its help. As for the Polestar 4's signature rear view mirror party trick, Polestar says this type of technology is now mature enough to be practical and reliable. The high definition roof mounted camera sending its feed to a conventional mirror layout with the aim of providing high dynamic range and excellent nighttime visibility. For more details on the Polestar 4, including standard features and available option packs, go to carsguide.com.au. With this car scheduled to land in local showrooms this August, stay tuned for Cars Guide's full review as soon as it does.